You've never heard it before. I only have four notes. Okay. A couple years ago, I'm out visiting some friends in Philly and I end up meeting this new friend. His name is Joe. And one of the things about Joe that I immediately notice is that he's one of the best guitar players I've ever met or seen in my entire life. I'm talking, this dude can play Yingwei Malmsteen like straight up perfectly while still having like the timing and the clarity and the precision of like Corey Wong's funk stuff. So I being the not very humble guy that I am, decide to tell him all about how much I'm woodshedding, how much I'm practicing and for some general advice from a great player. And he says, who are you listening to? And I tell him, well, I'm learning every John Mayer look ever. And he says to me, well, who else are you learning from? And I go, well, no one really. And so what Joe says to me was very interesting to me at the time. He says, Mike, you gotta have some more influences. Let me give you a couple guys who I think would be cool for you to learn from. I go, okay. He goes, you gotta learn some Eric Johnson. I go, I'm down with that. And he says, have you heard of Tim Henson from Polyphia? I go, I don't know what language you're speaking and I don't know what words you just said. And so he shows me Tim Henson and I go, that's cool, but I'm not really familiar with this guy. I know Eric Johnson. I'm gonna learn some Eric Johnson. All right, so a year or so passed and I'm doing what I usually do, just looking up all the trends in the guitar community, and I noticed one day that everyone and their mom is posting a reaction to this song, Playing God, and I'm like, what's this all about? Even one of my favorite YouTubers, Tyler Larson, who goes by Music of Wind, is posting reactions to this, and I'm like, I gotta know what this is. So I push that button, and I see the video, and I'm like, first of all, this is some straight up incredible guitar playing. There's some nylon strings, elements of classical music, there's like some hip hop stuff that has elements of what I loved growing up, but also I noticed that Tim Henson guy, who my friend had told me about before, he's in this band and he's one of the, like the most virtuosic guitar players I've ever seen. He's incredible. So I start just obsessing over Tim Henson and Polyphia. I listen to a lot of their discography and I think to myself like, okay, this dude's obviously got crazy amounts of melody. He's obviously like can shred super hard. He can play super fast. He's one of the best and most innovative players of our generation, but there's one thing, just one little thing he's missing. He needs a guitar lesson from me. Yeah, you heard me correctly. There was some stuff that I can teach this guy, I think. So here's what I did. I hiked my way all the way over to Los Angeles with the help of my friends from Apogee who happen to be having a sale on symphonies at Sweetwater if you wanna check that out, link in the description. You've never heard it before. I only have four notes. Okay. Oh, very cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's very new. Yeah. I might put it out later this year. Please. <laughs> I, I would love to hear that on Spotify or anywhere. And we have a, I actually have a track with Steve Vai. Oh, sick. It's called Ego Birth. That's, that's super um, familiar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and if you couldn't immediately tell, he was super impressed. And I think he might have even been jealous of the amount of skill that he had never seen before on the guitar. In all reality, what actually happened was Tim ended up teaching me one of his songs. Do you have any? You have a lot you can teach me. Um, I because you're a mayor guy. Okay. Um, I will show you this one, which uh, I guess is the second closest to mayor riff that I have. Okay. Um, but it's it's super fun to to play and um, relatively easy to digest. So uh, it's you you know our song Goose. Have you heard that one? Goose. I'll just play the riff for you. So okay. yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it's based around these chords. What do we got? So 12 on the A and 13 on the B. And then 10, 12. Yep, and then 10, 8. Or sorry, 8, 10. 10, 8. Uh, yeah, eight, 8 and 10 on the A and oh, B. Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. so we're gonna do. So 13 to 12, 13, 15. What's that? Oh, is it just the open G? Oh? Uh, so on the G, you want to face towards me so I can oh, yeah. see. <laughs> All right, so yeah, uh, first finger on the 12 of the A, mm -hmm. and then second finger on the 13, and you're going to pinky, yeah, pinky the hammer onto the 15, and then you're going to pluck the high, oh, high, high, high E12. 12. Yep. Yep. Yeah, there you go. So this is this is like the one mayorish part is where you use a little bit of vibrato on this yeah. riff. So you're gonna hammer on that 14, and then 
pluck the open E. Yes, so. Uh... There it is, man. Okay. All right, and then we've got... So triplets. Uh. Uh. So. Yeah. yeah. And then, uh, harmonic that's 12. Yeah. Yeah, so when you come into this, you're gonna kinda wanna pick scrape. Oh. That's Mary too. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, cool. So we've got... Okay. Whole thing. Where do you keep Fire. your pick the whole time? Just right there. Okay. Yeah, so the, most of my riffs, um, if I'm using a pick, are all hybrid picked. Okay. Um, so you'll, you know... This one you only pretty much have to use the middle. Um, I've got others where you have to use ring and pinky, which is not fun, but. Oh, so when you do. Yes, yeah, yeah. Oh. So you like switch hand positions from that chord. That and can... that way you can get that vibrato in there. Uh. Yeah. Get that. yeah. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. So at this point mid lesson, I was already sweating because I was like, oh my goodness, this is so different from everything that I've usually learned before, these straight pentatonic solos. So I was like, how am I gonna even grasp this? But the hybrid picking comment that he made really helped a lot. I don't even know what the heck I was trying to do with my picking hand before, but it made it a little bit more tolerable for me at my skill level, and he's a great teacher, but I'll let him explain the rest of the lick. All right, so this next part. So really think of it as. So this chord, uh, eight, seven, nine. Was that a, that's an F major nine? Could be, yeah. I have cool. no idea. Okay. <laughs> All right, so. This is a hard one. So pretty much, so you'll see that these oh. fingers are there, yeah. There it is, that's it right there. Okay. So you're just gonna add that open E at the end. Cool, that's it right there. So the tricky part is sliding into that chord from another chord, so it's gonna go. So that's. Yeah. Yeah, so you're just gonna slide right into it. Oh, with a hammer on that. Yeah, yeah. So like, it's, it's a bunch of compounding <laughs> techniques, um, but they sound cool together. Yeah, that sounds amazing. I just don't know how the heck you do <laughs> Yeah, so it's good to practice this, just the slide into it. And then also, so when you put it together. Like, obviously this is difficult, but this is the second time you've stumped me recently. Oh man. Because when you whenever you go like uh what do you do on ABC? I don't know what chord oh, you go yeah, to now. The... Yeah, that yeah. right there. Yeah, that one's a that one's a really tricky one. So this is where the homie really started to stump me a little bit, and I was like, okay, this is gonna take a little bit of practice. And since then, I've been able to practice it. But I also got to talk to him, like you saw before, about the song ABC, which is probably one of my top three songs that Polyphia's ever been a part of. But again, back to the riff. All right, so. Okay. So we're almost we're almost at the okay. end of the first phrase, and okay. that's you know we'll just leave it there. So it's gonna be five zero. Yep. 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 That's it. Is so, it two harmonics or one hit then a harmonic? Uh. So the only two harmonics are the very last two. Oh, so it's. Yeah. Okay. So it'll be. Uh. Uh, so it's... 
Yep. Okay. And then you'll just hit that. There you go. So yeah, from the top is... That's the riff. Dude. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's crazy. I'm gonna practice it. Please. I'd, I'd but, love to see um, when this video comes out, like the, the video, the lesson part of it, and yeah. then the, here's how I, you know, this is me learning it after I learned it or whatever. Yeah. It's super cool. I'm, a, I'm legit gonna practice it. Please. Dude was like an incredible teacher and just being able to sit down with him and kind of get a glimpse into how he thinks about the guitar and how he thinks about writing some of these riffs. Even once we got done, I was able to finally like verbalize some of my thoughts on like what had just happened. I was the better guitar player on the couch, like by a mile. And I think a hundred years from now, when they're talking about who's going to be, who's going to be the great guitar legends of all time, they're not going to talk about Tim Hendon or whatever his name is. They're going to be talking about that YouTube funny. Now you can apologize. I'm so sorry. Literally the best guitar player of our generation. <laughs> but in all seriousness, Tim literally is one of the best and most innovative guitar players of our generation. It was an honor to sit down with that dude and just see how he thinks and just being able to learn from him. Even just in this riff, there's so much I learned about like just the guitar and different ways to practice and like how to go about learning difficult stuff. So Tim, thank you very much for that. You're incredible. By the way, both of those guitars were incredible. It's cool not to just be able to play Tim Henson's model guitars, but his actual guitars. But if you want to know anything more about those guitars, both of them are available at Sweetwater. The links are in the description. Make sure to check it out. So like I said before, this was kind of the opportunity of a lifetime just to meet Tim and to learn from him like all of his amazing stuff. And I actually may or may not, you know, who knows, have gotten to witness a super secret, super extra secret project that went on with him. But, you know, I don't know if you want to hear about that. If you do, you might want to check out the link in the description. But here's the big question. And I know what you're thinking. Mike, you've been home for a little bit. You've had some time with this riff. You've had some time to practice it, really get to know it. Why don't you show us a little bit what you learned? And to that I say, that's another story for another day. Maybe also involving Tim. If you really want to hear it, let me know in the comments. Peace out.